you guys and welcome back to my channel. another makeup look but I'm gonna talk through each step by step I hope it's easy to follow it only uses products that you find mainly in boots and super drug or any other drugstore show you how I went from this look to this First I'm going to be using the Rimmel Pencil in the shade 001 and this is what I use um, to basically outline the shape that I want my brows to be. this stage because it's just the drafting stage as I like to call it I kind of just wipe away the excess that I don't want if I make a mistake with my finger what I do with this now I kind of make my eyebrows a bit thicker and a bit bolder so you guys choose how you want your shades if you're just trying to do like a more natural eyebrow look I recommend you know just using the Rimmel pencil and just making eyebrow like extra hairs however I like mine to be a bit more bold you basically take this, first of all I start with using the tall angled horn and just fill it up with this and then I kind of just fill in this brow shape, like the whole brow shape and I'm going to show you what I did to the front that's a bit different. The whole length of the brush and I just put a little bit on and I kind of lightly fill the front of the eyebrows right so now they look like thick slugs but you just need to trust in the process with eyebrows so they look really thick right now and the front even though it's light the rest of the eyebrows is still doing a bit too much brush which is a bit um which is a curved brush it's hard so it won't flap about and I use this to basically conceal around my eyebrows first of all and this is to get the ending shape. So underneath my eyebrows I use a lighter shade because I'm going to drag it down later on when I blend it out to my eyelid to act as a primer. Don't put this on too close to your eyebrows. The trick is to put it on lower and then you just raise it high as much as you need. That way it's easier to blend and you don't get the concealer stuck in your eyebrows. Top of my eyebrows, I'm gonna use a darker shade. That way it blends in with my foundation a bit more. Same will apply. Put it at the top. Try to move it as far from your eyebrows as possible and just drag it down as and when you need. So when doing this, I start off with underneath my eyebrows and then I just conceal it out until I get the desired shape so this is now the key stage and this is where I take this brush and you just blend out and this is what's the difference between your cute white brows and your nose and cute. So you basically blend out the concealer. And out, drag downwards again and upwards when you go at the top just to get as much product away from your eyebrows. to make them look more natural at the beginning you use the same brush and you start to go into the middle so you've got like your nose shape and the gap between your eyebrows and if you need to take some off you just kind of blend it in that way to if it's one side is way too long and the other side is short you kind of even them up using this and then once you blend it in between and you've got a good enough space 
you take the brush and you just kind of dab coming from the top of the eyebrow into it and you do it for both brows taken too much when you dab you go back to this brush and just whatever excess is on there you lightly dab into where you feel like you've taken too much out with the concealer and there you have it your brows are done every time I do my eyebrow I use concealer no matter what I use it for I use um, powder to make the concealer set so it doesn't move too much when I put the next layer of product on top or just in general just to make the concealer set I'm just going to use a bit of, um, I've not put too much, but just the dab of Revolution Terracotta. And I'm going to do eyeshadow, I'm going to do basic eyeshadow. Um, I do eyeshadow before because sometimes you collect dust and excess, so do it then and so I can clean it up for when I finish. I'm going to use a shade that's a bit close to my skin shade for my transition shade. That's that shade there. And whenever I start putting eyeshadow on, no matter where I'm putting it on, I always start from the outer corner and work my way in because it's easier to blend inwards than it is to blend outwards. This fat brush as I showed you before and um, I did it above my crease. So this is quite above my crease and just below my eyebrows, but there's a bit of a gap. Which I'm going to use is a similar style brush it's a bit more fluffy though and I'm gonna put this on um, just below where I put the first shade on but still within the same realm and for the second shade that I'm gonna use for this look today I'm just gonna use snap the next part of this look I'm gonna use this brush um, this is from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics however any other brush could be done I couldn't find another brush I could use except for this one but I'm going to use this brush and I'm just going to use Date Night, a dark colour. Now finally to complete the look, I'm going to use this brush which is similar to the first two. Way more fl floppy and way more thin and I'm going to use the shade Trouble. And this is the only shade where I'm going to start from my inner corner outer. my eyes basically done now for the next part you can either wear eyelashes or you can have mascara and you can wear eyeliner or you don't have to but for the purpose of this video because I like me and I just like eyelashes I'm gonna put eyelashes and eyeliner on um, yeah and the only reason why I like eyeliner on so much is because eyeliner was one of the first products I fell in love with and secondly, when I put my eyelashes on, just in case I kind of miss my actual lash line. It's gone cover up. I just do small strokes and then just make an angled line in whatever direction you want. I'm going to do it up towards my eyebrow end. That's the goal. Voila, there we have it. My lashes, I'm gonna use these eye lower ones. I'm gonna put a thin line of dual glue on there and I'm gonna put them on my eyes. Um, while I'm doing that though, I am going to also be priming my face while the glue sets, so I'm multitasking. Also, it's because you wanna give the primer some time to set in your face. Um, I realized that when I put my makeup on straight after I put my primer on, makeup can sometimes be like really slippy and it's not properly on my face so you have to give the primer a little bit of time to set and a little bit of time to be rubbed into your face what you do is make sure the lash is level um yeah then put it on your eye
and when you put it on, drag it to the end. Drag it to the other end. Oh, while I'm using NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop, Damn White Dolls and the Dory Lip Flaps. Now in the shade Cappuccino. So, I just, yeah, tend to squirt in just random areas on my face. Everybody gets at me for using this, but I feel like this is perfect for when I go around my eyebrows and when I'm going around my eyeliner, places that I can't get to with a beauty blender. However, this beauty blender or a toothbrush brush, everything will do. And then you just blend it out. Um, I tried to idealistically start from the middle of my face and then pull out, but hey ho, it changes the shape and direction as I go along. Um, when you use matte foundation, I feel like it's got like kind of like a zingy effect when you first put on your face. It does die down after two minutes, but it's just a word of warning. Right. When you put matte, uh, matte foundation on, the shade that you originally put it on, for those of you who may be thinking, whoa, the shade's a bit bright, or it's a bit, yeah, it does oxidize, so it's not going to be the final shade when I finish. So, usually, like about 30 minutes, 40 minutes after I finish my makeup, you'll see the shade start to change, a bit blending more with my face, as you will see at the end of the video. To start to contour, so we're going to use this LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Espresso. Rule of contouring, your cheekbones, here if you want here this is optional but usually when I smile when I'm talking my normal face structure I can see yeah then your nose the shape that you want your nose and around your face and your forehead when I do my nose I use a toothbrush and I just face I'm going to use an angled sculpting brush I take my concealer and I'm going to conceal in the areas that I want to highlight that I want to define this is where I want to highlight like I want to stand out a bit more on my face I'm going to brighten um, so that's usually the places where you didn't put your contour and for me that is my around my nose where my nose con my nose contour was my nose contour was um, around my mouth here my chin sides of my face just underneath and just above where I did my con contour and my forehead to blender and just blend away Anytime I um, put concealer of any type on my face, I have to set it. So for the contour concealer that I use, I'm going to set it with the Sleep Powder Contour Kit. If you're going to do it, it's just a little kind of mix the stains a little bit. Um, and then just go around everywhere where I put the concealer. With the highlights um, concealer, I'm going to go in with the Revolution so While I leave this in to set, which I usually leave in for literally about a minute um, I'm now going to go to do my lips So with my lips I'm mainly going to be using NYX products So first of all, NYX Lip Liner in Cocoa And I'm just going to do the outline on my shape I'm gonna go in with the NYX 
Coco, uh, what is this? NYX Coco Creamy Lipstick. I'm just gonna go with any cheap beauty store or even any lipstick. I pull this junk off. Um, optional now because sometimes I can just go and I'll be done like this however just because I like to now you know have that little bit of extra glow I usually add blush and highlighter so when I'm adding blush I'm going to use the Barry M High and Chic blush palette and I mix this and this shade because obviously I don't want to look too pink with the Amazon brushes Put that on the apple of your cheeks, a bit on your nose, a bit on your chin, and if you want to, just on the outers of your forehead. Maybe you feel like you need a bit of colour. And use the Revolution Shook palette to highlight. And I that is also to die for like a bit too tired. But yeah, um, when I'm gonna highlight now, I'm gonna use this and this shade. Like there, there, my nose, and there, my forehead, and my cupid's bow. To finish it off, guys, I'm gonna use my morph setting spray, and that's because my NYX one ran out, but it's okay, any setting spray will do for this part. And I'm just gonna set the rest of my face. And this is the finished look, guys. So, let me quickly just fix up my hair and then I'll come back and I won't touch my face or anything. And I'm gonna show you how everything's panned out. So guys, this is the final look. I haven't touched my face, I haven't done anything to it. Literally just taking my hair out of a bubble. I hope you guys enjoyed this little talk through and step by step on how to do your makeup, um yeah that's all i can say don't forget to like comment and subscribe more videos better explanations more tutorials and i'll even do single ones on single parts so yeah thank you guys for watching again